Hey, Brad, we were just talking to Warren Moon uh, in the break, actually. Funny enough, it happened this week. Warren told us he and Jerry Jones have been talking about a comeback. Oh, and uh, no. he said, don't tell anyone, but I want to play for the Cowboys. No. Your thoughts? Yeah, who, does, who doesn't? You know, it's a American <laughs> team, for crying out loud. Uh, I, I take it yeah. that story from the four letters making some waves uh, in terms of Adrian Peterson and uh, Jerry Jones? Well, uh, some. But look, my experience, as you said, this is my 36th year. So what that experience has uh, taught me is that if you mention the star, uh, it, it'll gain some traction. Mm -hmm. Right. And, uh, I mean, it's, it seems to me, from what I know, which is really pretty much just what's in the magazine and, and online, we're talking about a really innocuous story that, you know, he, he didn't, he was handed the phone, right? Now, should you do something else? Should you say, hey, Adrian, great to talk to you, but, you know, I can't add this? Yeah, but all of the above. You know, is, did, did he do something heinous? No, he's probably done worse. But it's the star, and it's the four letters, and so that that's a kind of a lethal combination. <laughs> it is a lethal. <laughs> a chance to bring Johnny Manziel back into it, and... Uh, uh, off we go. Oh, there, that that is the holy trinity when it comes to football, right? Oh, yeah. The yeah, star, right? The, the four letters, and Johnny Manziel. Now it's, yeah. it's, it's, now it's Kenny football. <laughs> right. It was actually yeah, Johnny who handed him the phone. Here. Right. We we figured out that Johnny might not have been so Johnny football. It might be Kevin football is what we should be How saying. That? Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, let me ask you this, because you mentioned the 36 years, and all I could think of throughout that is, has there been a more scrutinized coach quarterback combo in the history of the NFL than Jason Garrett and Tony Romo? Sure. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, I've lived through through more. I mean, Landry and uh, Morton and Landry and uh, Landry and White and uh, Landry and White was good. Yeah. Now, now you know, there's you. you scrutinized is um, a, a word that we can play with because, I mean, I think there have been a lot of trees killed uh, examining the Belichick-Brady marriage, but not in the same way because once Brady became Brady, then uh, there wasn't any question about um, who, who was in charge. Right. But there have been a lot of stories written about those two guys, and I think the... Uh, I think the, the the fascination with the one here right now is, is that uh, we are in this fantasy football era where you've got a quarterback who contributes mightily to those numbers. They have not translated into the things that most people use to define uh, success in football, which is number of games won after the regular season's over, and and it is this particular franchise, and so. You know, as a result, uh, you, you know, you get looked at. They haven't had any playoff success in a while. And, you know, that's that's not acceptable. And and it's something to talk about, and people love to hate the team. And so that that's a good subject for conversation. But, yeah, I think there have been a lot of them that have been certainly the subject of, of, of a lot of conversation as much as this one. I think most people believe that Jason Garrett's job is probably on the line this year. Is Is Tony Romo in any of that danger? Um, not as long as his performance um, lives up to what it needs to be because of the financial investment. Right. I mean, the, the you know, if you decide, if you come to the conclusion now that the guy cannot do the job, and that's going to have to, that's going to require some pretty spectacular failure. Uh that he, he, that he no longer can do the job. Right. Well, then you have to do something. But the reality of professional football in the NFL today with that salary cap is when you are tied to a guy uh, like they are to him with the cap and the money and the investment, you you got you to live with it. Uh, we don't do it too often, but whenever we do, I really appreciate the conversation and the insight. Thanks a lot for doing this, Brad. Oh, you're more than welcome. You guys have a great weekend. Yeah, you too.